we need Dawn to go into orbit around Vesta. Now we observed Hubble while it while the asteroid rotated and it rotates on an axis which points to the upper left of the image and if we could have the next slide you will see that we've made a postage stamp uh, uh, page of Vesta at different times which shows the different locations on Vesta um, as it's rotating during a day. Now you might be able to see in the second and third row um, that that parts of Vesta are brighter than the top and bottom row, for example. And this, again, is another difference that represents a, some global scale properties that we don't yet understand. We can make guesses, but we, again, need the Dawn mission to go into orbit, use its complement of three instruments, and get us and, and resolve the uh, possibilities for interpreting the differences here. We combined these images uh, one after the other and made uh, a movie, which we, I'd like to show now, um, which shows Vesta rotating at its dizzying speed of five hours and 20 minutes, which is the length of a day on Vesta. And it makes me realize that I'm happy to live on Earth where we have a leisurely 24-hour day. Now, you'll see on the southern hemisphere and the lower at about 5 o'clock, there's an irregularity there. That is a large-scale mountain. Nothing like that exists on Earth to the same scale as, as exists on, on Vesta. There's no mountain on Earth that covers almost the whole range of, of a diameter. That is, that is a site of an impact, a big collision, that sent debris throughout the asteroid belt. And that collision and the debris from it is, uh, is the event that brought samples from Vesta here to Earth. And I have a sample of a meteorite that uh, we believe came from Vesta. And the, the minerals that we can see in it tell us that Vesta did indeed get heated to the melting point of silicate rock. And they cooled slowly um, and cooled slowly and uh, formed these minerals of these composition. 